Today, I'm gonna to be ranking every single appetizer from Olive Garden and let you guys know which ones are the best. Oh my gosh, best day ever. Here we go. I hate it. Man, you have to swallow it to give it a full test. It's been a minute since I've been back in my kitchen ranking food, and I have to just tell you I was craving Olive Garden, so I just wanted to make this video solely for that purpose. So today, I headed out to my local Olive Garden and picked up every single appetizer. I'm gonna be taste testing them all today. But before I do that, a dear friend of mine is trying to raise $250 $50,000 for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And I'm so proud of him and I decided I wanted to help. I will link below a place where you can donate. LLS is known for research for lymphoma and leukemia. They also offer patients resources who maybe don't have the financial means to take care of themselves when they are receiving treatment. LLS does try to come in and bridge the gap. I wanted to do something a little special and a little different. I'm kind of nervous because I've never actually said this out loud before on my channel. I decided that I wanted to actually Actually give you something valuable in return. Down below for $15, you can buy a ticket to one of my brand new online courses. I actually haven't even launched this yet. It's just like so super brand new. For 15 bucks, I'm going to be giving one of my very first courses, which is going to help you get started creating video content on YouTube. And usually courses like this cost a lot of money, so I actually think you're gonna get a lot of value for your $15. And of course, it will all be donated. My goal for us is to raise a thousand dollars I know we can do more than that go in the description and donate if you can I will link everything below with some more directions and instructions if you have any questions let me know in the comments but now it's time to eat I have a fly in here Oh no, I know, it smells delicious, doesn't it? See, never. When in Olive Garden, we must engage the mozzarella sticks. I feel like this is the gateway snack into Olive Garden outside of the breadsticks. I love a mozzarella stick. The only thing that I don't like about it is when the cheese gets stuck in your throat and you think you may not survive it, kind of like Final Destination. I feel like it could have more mozzarella. Am I wrong? There's some nice herbs and seasonings. Wow, that was really good. I don't know if it's my favorite mozzarella stick I've ever had. I also don't like saying mozzarella. Mozzarella. I like saying mozzarella. I took three semesters of Italian and I can speak z zero Italian. I don't even know what zero is in Italian, but I do like saying mozzarella. Next are the cutie patoots, little raviutes. I don't even know what's in here. What are you made of? Things like that scare me. Have you guys ever tried that chewing gum that come in little tablets and then your grandma, or your dad's like, here's some gum and you're like, great, you put it in your mouth and then it squirts and you didn't know that it was something that would squirt? Can you tell I've been traumatized? I don't like puffy things that I don't know what's inside, but I feel like ravioli is probably the safest bet. Mm. Oh, that's special. Okay, wait, this is yum. I can't, I think it's sausage that's in here. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Best day ever. Next is the spinach artichoke dip. Growing up, I thought spinach was gross, and then it wasn't until you slathered it in cheese that I would ever even come close to touching it. I feel like Popeye was supposed to make spinach seem cool because it would make you stronger, but Popeye was kind of terrifying. Like, can you imagine like dating a guy like that? Olive oil needs more respect. It's a little saltier than I imagined it to be. It comes with these little crunchy pita sticks. There's a a lot of flavor going on between this little crunchy stick and then this. It just seems like a lot. Hmm. I think I might have had better, but honestly, I would give this like a seven and a half out of ten. We need to discuss they have lasagna frittas. Frittas? Frittas. Took three years. Three semesters of Italian. Matt just you know, appeared. I think he, he smelled the smells. Ah, uh, this is my lunchtime. Honey, we all know by this point you come down when you smell the snacks. <laughs> I'm shooting a video here. No, it's too good. Okay, let's get into this lasagna bites. Look at him, he's ready to pounce. You're like, when ready to pounce on me like a cat. Lasagna bites, isn't it good? <laughs> I mean, this is good. I just thought about fried lasagna though. Babe. Is this all just like pasta that's been fried? Yeah. It doesn't get better than that. Carbs on carbs on carbs. Wow, this is freaking good. This is Olive Garden? Honey, you've made it this far. You didn't even know what you're eating. This has been really good. I'm gonna move into what I think is the stuffed ziti frita. Frita? We're still on the fence. These look like Tostinos no. or Totinos. I don't remember any of this. <laughs> you've never had to Tostinos? Those little frozen Tostinos. From that you get for your football games. They're like piping hot little rolled up treats. I, I haven't had. <sighs> get out of here. I can't believe I'm married to someone who just never tried Tostinos. Tequitos? Tequitos. Tostinos. I'm confused. It's, it's almost like cheese, like little cheese ball bites. I like it. There could be more here. Matt, Matt's gonna try the shrimp. Oh, eat them. Is it good? Mm -hmm. 
Do it with this sauce. It's better than marinara. Marinara is good, but this sauce much better. It's actually surprisingly good. Olive Garden shrimp. Who, who knew? What about the this calamari? Is calamari is very okay. Calamari is one of those things that just isn't good to go. Coming from someone who doesn't eat calamari and has no actual experience. But what I've heard in my one experience with the Cheesecake Factory calamari, it kind of tasted like those little rubber stoppers you put on the bottom of chairs so they don't scratch your floor. This isn't that. It's just a lot of breading. It's just crunchy breading. A touch of chew. So you want more flavor in the calamari is what you're saying. But the yeah. shrimp has good flavor. Yeah. Should I try it? You should. No, it's okay, it's okay. We need to have one, come on. The thing about ranking with seafood is that I know I won't rank it high enough. And I don't like shrimp because I always worry that that vein of stuff that's in them is poop. And I know that's not poop. People have told me it's not poop, but then some other people say it is poop. People are like, there's no poop, but there's poop in everything. Everything poops. So how can we be sure that it's not poop, you know? It's a good fork. Oh, don't make me do it, please. Oh, I hate this. This, this is it. I'm also afraid of belly buttons like this. Unfounded phobia. Nope. Irrational fear. That's what that's the word you're really keep for. Are you sure? Yeah, it's great. I hate it. And you have to swallow it to give it a full test. No. You're uninvited to this party. Here we go. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. The sauce is good. He's right about that. Now that's it's pretty good. good. That's good. That's good. Honestly, good. I'm not gonna try the calamari though, so don't even even think about getting excited about it. So you liked it? Wasn't bad. I survived. I want a shirt that says, I survived the sea. The Olive Garden soup. <laughs> so I ordered a salad, and I don't normally do this because salads do not excite me. They don't bring joy. Olive Garden said their salad was famous. Like, I... <laughs> That's how they sold It's famous. We have hundreds of chains. It's in all of them. Let's just get a little taste of what fame tastes like. This is like Leonardo DiCaprio in a salad right now. It's actually my favorite kind of salad because it's iceberg lettuce, which is the least healthy of all the lettuces. It's basically like slices of water. Slices of water. If you can slice water like bread, it would be iceberg lettuce. Mmm. Maybe it's more like a sea lister level of famous. But still famous nonetheless. I did order some zupas. I'm gonna go into this soup. It has sausage, potatoes. Mmm. Oh, this is pretty good. Soup is like an interesting choice because I feel like it is an appetizer, but it's rare that you get soup unless it's like cold. This is so good. The sausage, oh, mm, this is good. That is the one of the best soups you can get at a chain restaurant. All right, let's try the minestrone soup. It's good. This is a soup that tastes like you're recovering from some sort of seasonal sickness. I don't want to say it because I don't want this video to get demonetized. The FLU. Then you want some delicious soup to make you feel like home and make you feel good in your soul. This would be a really good option. I think Matt's questioning everything about his marriage to me right now. He's just standing off in the corner just staring at me wondering if it's too late to get out of this. He's in it because the snacks are really good but he's not really sure if he should stay in it for that reason. <laughs> the food is really good. <laughs> okay, I don't know what this one is. I'll put it on the screen. It has little, little pieces of pasta that kind of remind me of bone marrow. This is like chili. This tastes like really good Italian chili. It's pretty good. It's got a little spice to it. This is like a potato soup. Mm. Oh, this is like gnocchi. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, it's really good, but it's just like a consistency and a flavor that my brain... Take your time. This is really good. It's super creamy and sweet, but it has like a, it almost tastes like gravy. Matt just perked up. You should have seen how fast he turned around. I said gravy. Matt loves gravy. Fun fact that I went and picked all of this up from Olive Garden and I ate a red stick on the way. <laughs> I usually don't. I usually try and save it to make, yeah, I needed it. The breadsticks have three different kinds of dip. Let's start with the five cheese marinara because cheese is the best way to start any category. Oh, wow. <clears throat> wow, this is so good. Oh my gosh. How did I not start this video with this? It's so good. Matt left at the wrong time. His loss. Next is the Alfredo. Mmm, Parmigiani. Oh my gosh, I'm so full. All right, now let's do the marinara. Oh, I love marinara. I love sauces. I feel like if you're gonna have the marinara, you should have it with something else that has a little bit more depth to it. It's a good marinara, but with the breadstick, it's kind of like, meh. Oh my gosh, let's rank these bad boys so I can go to the bathroom. 
I'm actually excited because so many of these were so, so good. So this top 10 is solid. Write it down, send it to a friend. In my 10th spot, we have the chicken and gnocchi soup. It's a gravy meets a soup. And if you can handle the dairy, you need it. Next is the spinach and artichoke dip. It was just a good solid option. Coming in hot is the Alfredo dip. This is probably like one of the cheapest things you can get and it is so mind-blowingly good with the breadsticks, of course. We haven't really talked about the breadsticks, but you guys, y'all know about the breadsticks. Next is fried mozzarella. I just could use just a little bit more mozzarella cheese. Next in shocking news, I put the shrimp appetizer and I don't regret it, which is a huge emotional step for me. It was actually pretty good though, that sauce was bomb. Coming in next is the Zupa Toscana. It's so different, unique, fresh, spicy, but not spicy. Next, I have to give it to the five cheese marinara dip. Hillary Duff said it best. This is what dreams are made of. Next is the ziti frita. It's good, It's you eat it, you don't really know what it is. It's like one of those things you're like, what am I eating? But I don't really care to know because it's so good. It doesn't matter, I'm just gonna keep eating it. In my second place spot, I have to give it to the lasagna frita. Oh, honestly, you could eat that as a meal. That shouldn't, shouldn't even be an appetizer. The number one best appetizer that you can get at Olive Garden is the toasted ravioli. And before you click away from this video, don't forget there is a link below for you to buy a ticket to my online course so we can donate over a thousand dollars to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Please, let's do this together. It would make me so proud of this community and so proud that we were able to do this and make a huge impact and hopefully help aid in research. To be a part of something like that would be so special to me. So let's do it. I'll link it in the description. 